Hi, my name is Anne. My husband Dave and I joined St. Thomas Aquinas in 1998. Uh, we had just gotten married and I was anxious to find a parish that I could feel grounded at. I'd been coming to St. Thomas Aquinas for a few months and going to other churches as well to try to find a spot that felt good. Uh, Father Murray was the parish priest at the time and I really liked him. Everything seemed to come alive with him, and so St. Thomas became our new home. Another reason I wanted to join a parish is because my mother had died that year, and my father had died 10 years earlier, and somehow I just felt like my family would flounder uh, without a parish to belong to. So over the years, parish priests have come and gone. And for the most part, I was always sad when somebody left, but the new priest was, for the most part, pretty good, I was pretty happy. Now that Saint, um, Saint, <laughs> Father Bart is a saint, but Father Bart Timmerman, um, I pray he'll never leave while I'm still a St. Thomas member. Um, I've grown with the parish over the last 20 years. Mary Bailey, um, the parish secretary, called me one day. I had just changed careers, had a little more free time, and she asked me if I could come help in the office. And I thought about it for a few minutes and uh, seconds and said, sure, I can help. When would you want me to come? And she said, today. And I laughed, and I've been coming in nearly every week since 2005 for whatever needs to be done in the office. In addition to the office volunteering, I've also volunteered at the Catholic Multicultural Center, serving meals and serving on the St. Thomas Finance Council. Um, I've been a Eucharistic minister, and my husband and I are mentoring newly engaged couples through the FOCUS program. It's all been and continues to be a wonderful experience. Yes, I have a problem saying no, but <laughs> What's more important than serving God in a way that everyone wins? My sister always says, the getting's in the giving. And it's never so true as it is with St. Thomas Aquinas.